right, we're here with Dale, Aberdeen Bike. He's going to give me a video instruction on how to remove the rear wheel. Dale. Hey Chris, this is how you remove the rear wheel on your A wall with the roll off hub. Okay. First thing we're going to do is shift you below here. here. Okay. If you forget to do that, we'll show you something later on what you're, how to fix that. All right. Next thing, we're going to remove the shifting cup cover here mm -hmm. by unscrewing this simple cap. Okay. Now this stop and then this pull, this little bit of wiggle pulls right off. Push that out of the way. Open your quick release. Drop down. Get the belt out of the way. Okay. And we're off. That's easy. Easy. That's the easy part. Yeah. Putting it back on. You want to get the belt in position first. Tension on here. Get the belt on the cog. You never want to roll the belt onto the cog. You want to have it in place before you even try to put it up in the dropouts. Okay. Next thing, there's this notch right here, which is going to line up right here on the frame. So this piece, I'm just going to aim it while I'm sliding the disc brake in between the pads and the axle into the dropouts. That piece is going to line up right there. Okay, double check. Oh, the belt fell off on me. There's a problem. Take it back down, get the belt in, and again, line everything up. Hold it up. Get the quick release in a position where you can easily remove it next time. Everything centered and close it up. All right. Belt's in good position. This is in place. The disc is in place. Now we're going to put the shifter back on. If for some reason you took it off and it wasn't in low gear, you can use an 8 millimeter wrench and just gently twist this clockwise until it stops. You know, if you're up a few clicks, it'll okay. just click until it stops and it okay. won't go any further. Right. Next thing we're going to do, we're going to line this up. There's two holes here and two pegs there. It just lines up on top of those. And it doesn't quite drop in. So now I'm going to be moving and need to get one hand on the shift lever and one hand back here. I'm grabbing inside and outside and I'm just going to wiggle the shift lever a little bit should drop right in for me. Come on. Almost. Come on. Okay. You just heard it click. It's down. No, not quite. Almost. There. Okay. That's the point. You're just going back and forth. You're just wiggling the shifter. the shift lever just a little bit each direction. Once that's in, it'll fit. It'll be flat up against here, mm -hmm. no wiggle, and then you just tighten down this little gap. Okay. And this just has to be finger tight. It doesn't. There's a little notch in it. You could use a screwdriver on, but you don't have to. It's just as tight as you can go, hand tight. Okay. And that's it. Great. So. I'm now certified. You are now certified. All right. Certified as <laughs> something. Certified as what? <laughs>